Hi guys, Scott Woodward to preview the Canterbury Bulldogs for NRL 2015. And uh, look, let's have a look at this list. And any team that has their best player as the prop forward has got a problem. And that's what Canterbury have got here with James Crane. Uh, what an outstanding player he is. And uh, he plays prop forward for England and Canterbury. He's just been named as the captain. Now, having said he's one of the world's best props, I think his right position is locked forward. Uh, Canterbury have got an abundance of big props, and uh, I would like to see James back a little bit at lock where he can uh, roam on both sides of the field and control the play a little bit more than he does uh, when he's up front. But still, he's a wonderful asset and just a wonderful guy to watch. Love watching him play. Uh, look, we have to talk about the big inclusion, the big off-season by Brett Morris, and um, he certainly the best uh, winger that uh, I've seen this century play rugby league. He's an outstanding finisher, and um, the Bullocks have uh, brought him into their squad so that he can be fullback because he's such a great attacker, and uh, they've been lacking, lacking sadly in that area um, ever since Ben Barber left their club and uh, went, went to Brisbane and then gone to the Sharks. They have been lacking thrust from the back. Brett Morris is in to do that job. Now, the problem with... Brett Morris is that he's only only recently uh, got back onto the, the training paddock um, and started to run and started to train properly, uh, which is a monumental problem when you're playing fullback. It's not such a big problem when you're playing on the wing. When you're playing fullback, uh, you have to have your cardiovascular right up. You do a lot, a lot of running. You never stop. Um, and for if he's going to start at fullback, and I would suggest he probably will because he did against the Storm um, uh, last week. And uh, while he got a try in in the first few minutes, he certainly didn't play that long long of minutes, and he certainly didn't do a lot of running. And there's no doubt that uh, I would imagine that he'll be doing a lot of swapping with Sam Perrett, who played fullback uh, at, at the Bullocks for the last two years and, and did quite a good job. But as we always say, quite a good job is not good enough. Brett Morris certainly can be that X factor. He can run the length of the field. He can bust tackles, and he's spectacular. Uh, he can be a little bit of a worry with bombs sometimes, but my concern with Brett is will he play out 80 minutes to fall back? Uh, he hasn't got a massive motor uh, over 80 minutes. That's my concern with him. Uh, remains to be seen if he lasts at full back for the entire year or he in fact plays 80 minutes every week once he gets himself match fit. But uh, certainly a big asset for the club just to have him in there. He's a class actor, there's no doubt about that. Um, I wanted to talk about the other big uh, off-season signing. Uh, they lost their captain, Ennis. He's gone to to Cronulla Sharks, and in comes Leisha. Um, now, a lot of people, a lot of the Bulldog supporters are concerned about that, uh, but there's no need to be. I think uh, Leisha is a vastly superior hooker to Ennis, and I think uh, in five years' time, uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. He has a lot of skills. He's a very clever guy. He can, he, he can set players up. He, he, he looks dangerous with the ball, and that's something that Ennis didn't do. Ennis was great at um, getting penalties for his club. Uh, he was great at um, defence. He was great at passing, but he never looked dangerous with the ball. He was very, very predictable. Uh, Leisha will change all that, and he'll add a new dimension onto the Bulldogs' uh, attack, uh, which is something that they have to do. Their scoring options were down last year, and they struggled uh, over, over the course of the season to score more than 20 points a game, and you certainly need to do more than that if you want to win a grand final. Uh, they managed to get into a grand final, which was just a wonderful effort by the coach, but uh, they certainly had a lot of assistance on their way. Um, they just had one of those draws that, w that was a soft draw, but um, at the pointy end of the competition, when they struck the good sides, they happened to have struck, struck them when their key players had a lot of injuries and um, uh, it just worked out very well for them. But that's the luck of the draw, and good luck to them. Uh, they played a, a big block-busting, block blocking type of, of footy. Uh, they try and bamboozle the sides very early and get over the top of them um, in, in, in the first half, and they generally would always win the first half, and they really struggled to score points in the second half. Their big guys got very, very tired. Uh, now, I'd like to think that having um, uh, Leisha in the side and Brett Morris now in the side... Um, will give them some more attacking options, and that may help them in the second half. I'd like to think it will anyway. Certainly, um, last year, they only won six of their 12 home games, uh, which for a team that made the grand final, it's quite an amazing stat when you think about it. Uh, but they went very well uh, playing away. Uh, they won seven of their 12 games away from home. So it was a bit, bit, of, a bit of an unusual situation. They're basic, basically saying, 
we don't care where we play, every ground's the same to us. Uh, but um, their six and seven uh, will probably determine how they go this year. Both Josh Reynolds and Trent Hodgkinson played in State of Origin last year for New South Wales, and Hodg- Hodgkinson scored the winning try to win the series for New South Wales. I have to say that's about all he did do. Um, he got the try. Uh, I thought he was, apart from that, I thought he was disappointing. I never cited him in Game 3, and I certainly didn't sign him in the Grand Final, and that's not what you want from your chief organiser, um, and that's what Hodg- Hodgkinson uh, is. Um, uh, former uh, well-known coach Brian Smith made a comment about Hodgkinson, and I have to agree with him here. He said, Hodg- Hodgkinson cannot make a decision on the run, and that's not the sort of comment you want from an experienced coach talking about a halfback. Uh, but, you know, I have to say he's actually been good for the Bulldogs. Uh, he's an outstanding goal kicker and he seems to work well with their play and he certainly works well off Josh Reynolds, who we didn't see in the last trial. Um, everyone else trialed uh, apart from Josh Reynolds, so I'm assuming he's going to be okay for uh, round one. The Bulldogs, I've already talked about uh, their fantastic forward pack, which is their big, big strength um, in this competition. They were number one last year for all run metres. Um, and certainly their defence was outstanding all over the park, um, particularly up the middle and their line defence. It was outstanding. Um, that's a credit to the coach, I have to say. Um, I certainly rate the coach um, one of the best in the business. I rate him an 8 out of 10. Um, and based on uh, the, six, the 17 players that I think will start um, for the Bulldogs, uh, I think uh, I've got them finishing 6th in the competition, but they certainly can uh, make the top 4 again. Uh, I think they've got a better side than what they had last year, and last year they made the grand final. But I've already pointed out that they had a lot of luck with the draw last year, and they won a lot of games um, by under six points, and they won uh, quite a few games by a field goal. Um, And that's good management, good play, well done to them, but it's also lucky. Uh, And I thought they were very lucky last year. So they may very well be lucky again, and I think they've got a better side than they had last year. So um, they should have a good, good competition. I think they'll play in the semi-finals. Uh, I don't see them as a top four team for me at this stage. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Tony Williams. He starts all the time in the Ford pack. There's a big rap on him, the big T-Rex. Um, my comment about Tony Williams is because he's such a big, powerful guy and he looks just a magnificent footballer, um, everyone thinks that he's a, he's a forward. And they play him in the forwards because he's a big, tough, blockbusting guy. For me, I'd be playing him in the centres or I'd play him on the wing. I think he'd be untouchable. I think he'd be like a Mal Meninga or a Gene Miles if they played him in the centres. And it'd be, it'd be a lot more beneficial to the team. I think he's been very disappointing since he's come to the Bulldogs um, for when he was at Manly. And um, he played a lot wider when he was at Manly. And I think he's much better suited uh, playing that type of role. Um, as for the other standard guys there, Josh Jackson and Greg Eastwood, um, they're both class acts and uh, they, they, they go to make up this uh, wonderful forward pack along with Sam Cassiano. Um, I'm expecting uh, Frank Pritchard to come in, Aidan Tolman, David Clemmer, uh, Tim Brown. Uh, they're, they're, they all make up this big forward pack. Um, they give them the good go forward that they got. One of the young props that I have a high opinion of and I'm expecting to see a lot more minutes uh, from him this season is Lloyd Perrett. Uh, I have a big opinion of him. We didn't see a hell of a lot of him last season, and uh, I think we'll see a lot more of him this season. I hope so anyway. Um, I've been tracking his um, career, and I think he's ready to have a very, very big season. Um, The other good in is Curtis Rona, uh, formerly from uh, North Queensland and then formerly from uh, the Roosters, and um, he just looks magnificent. He trialled very well, uh, and he looks a class act. And look, he's come in to replace Corey Thompson, and Corey Thompson's form has been fantastic, and he was, he's been very, very good for the Bulldogs over the last couple of years. I guess the advantage that Rona has got over Thompson is size. Um, he's much more bigger, much stronger, and that probably suits Des Hasler uh, much better. Unfortunately, um, he's only a small winger, Corey Thompson, and in the modern, modern game, uh, that's a little bit of a problem with bombs and so forth. So look, there is for me. I think the Bulldogs will have yet another good year. I think they may struggle and make the four, but it'll certainly be no surprise to me if they do. Good luck if you follow the Bulldogs. Cheers.